So if you are currently working for an employer and they give you the opportunity to complete a higher level apprenticeship um, and to come on and do a, an assistant practitioner course or a nursing associate course or a HAD course, hearing aid dispensers, um, the program from start to finish is approximately 18 months, give or take, because we have an endpoint assessment to add on to the end of that. Um, so if you started in September, normal academic year, you'd be done um, sort of a year and a half later, obviously. Um, give or take a couple of weeks, obviously, for those assessments to happen. If you are a direct student, so if you are somebody who wants to do this off your own back and go through student finance, again, I can help with those questions if you have any. Um, you can basically look at starting the course in a September and you'll be done two years later. So um, not the following June, the one after that. So you'll have one year academically, you're six weeks off over the holidays. That's time for any referral work to be completed if you maybe failed or you didn't get the grade that you should have got to pass. Um, and then you start again the following September, October, and then complete. And then the following September after that, you would graduate. Um, realistically, yes, two years and you'll, you'll be working as an AP, providing you've passed the modules within your course. And we will obviously do everything we can to support you. We've got a fantastic higher education study hub um, and a whole team of people that are willing to give you a hand if you get stuck with writing, referencing, researching. They can give you handy hints. And we also have a whole load of resources that we can pull together um, and lectures to support with that too. It's about learning a new style of learning. For you, um, we don't all learn the same way. We are, um, we are all very, very different. Um, I did, for example, my three years of my degree uh, or my two degrees, was listening to the Kings of Leon really, really loud with headphones in. <laughs> um, and that, for me, took part of my brain away so that I could focus on something else. Um, that might have been down to the fact that I had two children that were quite young at the time that were in the background and running around and doing handstands. Um, but, yeah, we, we will work out between us how you learn, um, how you best absorb. Are you a doodler? Do you doodle on the page and cover it in hearts and boxes and squiggles? Um, are you someone that likes to jump in and answer a question before you've had time to process and think about what the question is? Are you someone that sits back and lets everybody else answer and then you accumulate your opinion on your particular answer before you give it? Um, it it's quite interesting to see the journey from start to finish, um, but you will be a very, very different person by the time you've you've done so 18 months to two years for a foundation degree 